Tuesday and we've got a really lovely simple drawing today, drawing and painting. It's very relaxing, just a bit of switch off time from your homeschooling. So we're going to draw and paint a caravan. Let's get drawing. <laughs> So we're going to start here by going about a little bit up from the bottom, probably about a third of the way up, just under, and we're going to draw a nice straight line. So that's our first thing. We'll start, draw a straight line. And then coming up here, think about how tall or wide you want your caravan. I'm going to go to about there, pop myself a dot in, and then I'm going to do a curve at this side. It's quite a shallow curve, actually. It's not a really deep one. Just a little curve there. And then curving up and taking this straight line here parallel to that one. I'm going to go to about there. Taking this line out slightly, curve it up. And all we're going to do is join it up here and with another little curve. So there's no, there's no points at all in this. There's no pointed edges. Every edge is curved. So that's a, the start for us. That's our basic caravan in there. And if we pop in the door here, so I'm going to go about a third of the way along that line there and up two lines. And again, no curve, no, no point, just a small curve and up and the same with the window here. So we're going to come out there, out there, curve. So it's not, they're not round. They're like um, squares or rectangles with curved edges. So a small gap there, we'll put two lines down and we'll curve those as well. And just to finish this, because we're going to have an awning on this caravan, it's a little bit more complicated than our junior one. We're going to take, take it out here and I want you to take a line across. So most of the lines in this bit and then a little bit coming here and we're going to go down at an angle and exactly repeat that angle there and then across. And if you pause there, get those shapes in. So we'll just add a few more details now here. Onto the door, we've got a little circle, like a little window on the door, and a door handle, a long door handle there. And we're gonna just put a couple of lines there to turn that into a step. Now, Elizabeth's just informed me this is a parallelogram, a term I've not heard for 30 years. So thank you, Elizabeth. So onto our parallelogram, we're going to put two lines here. And we want to take them down under the caravan there. So two lines and then exactly the same on this side. One and two. And actually, I'm going to take that in because I want a little gap there so I'll take that in slightly and then here I'm going to come in and I'm going to do little curves because it's like a, a kind of edge to this little awning here that's coming out and then I'll take my rubber just rub out those bits and move that bit there so I've got that gap I've got that little negative shape there between them and if you pause and do that and then we'll move on to the final So I'm going to start here with this window. I'm going to put a couple of lines down there. So we'll have some curtains in there when we come to colour it. And a bit of a shape here, just a, just a little shape to add some interest. Then here we've got what um, attaches the caravan to the car. I can't, my brain's gone dead and I can't actually remember what it's called. Toe, toe bar, thank you Elizabeth. So just a couple of lines, a triangle between and two lines coming down. And here we go, we've got our point, our first point. And then the little bit that comes up here like that. We'll just pause for a second. So the noise that you just heard there was my 12-year-old uh, son doing his drumming practice. But he's stopped now for the rest of filming. So we can carry on here. So what we've got, we've got that little step there. And we're going to create a sort of little ladder. So you want it to be on about a level with there. Coming down like that. And the same on the other side. Down like that. And then just join that with two little steps. So coming down here, just here, we want to fit in a little 
wheel like that. Mine doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to go across. And then underneath the awning, we've got another little um, window that's coming around like that. You can take yours lower if you like. And then I've got another little line pattern. And that is our caravan. So stick with us, we're going to do some colouring. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start by, I've got my watercolour pencils here, I've got four colours. You can use whatever colours you like. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to use a, a blue to go around, but green will work just as well. And I'm going to go around the door as well. I'm not going around the steps with this though. I'm going to colour in that window. I'm going to go around the handle and I'm also going to colour in that window there like that. And a little, I've hardly got one showing here, but there is a little bit there too. And here with the shape, I'm just going to put some shade in there. I'm not going to put a hard line in, but I'm going to put some shade in. So we go up to it, just like that. And then we'll take the line all the way up to the edge and down and round and at the bottom here like that. And I'm going to take my brush, making sure it's completely clean, because we, we all know that I'm always forgetting to do that. I'm going to turn the little bit of paint here in the windows, and that one. I'm going to turn that as well. So I get that pattern. And then with the door, I'm going to just put a bit more water on my brush, and I'm going to go over the whole thing like that. We've got this kind of pale blue door there. And if you like, you could soften, just soften the edge here of your caravan if you like that idea of a nice soft edge coming around. You don't need to at all, just a little idea. And the next thing I'm gonna do then is take my gray pencil and I'm gonna go around all of these shapes here. So around here, here, With this, I'm actually going to put a bit more pigment in there. And then I'll take my brush. And as soon as I touch those, what will happen is instead of it being white, then it colours it, but leaves the edges really obvious. And that one I want to be more of a wheel. And to finish it off, I've got a couple more things left on this. Now I'm doing really basic colouring in here, but or painting on this, but feel free to absolutely look, you can make this any color you wanted. The awning, you could put trees in, uh, definitely go for some grass, some flowers, some children playing. You could have a picnic happening just outside the um, caravan. You could have, you could create a lovely caravan scene, but make sure you send it to us. That's my only ask really. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush here and I'm gonna go like that so that the lines remain and the same here, so the lines remain. And the very final thing to do is, I'm gonna do this as if the curtain's closed here. I'm using orange here, because it's the opposite of blue on the color wheel. There's my curtains, and another one there. And that is my little plain caravan, and I'm really excited to see what you guys do to with this, because this, I feel is going to be the centre of a scene that you create and make sure you send them to us. So I hope you really enjoyed that and it was a really nice relaxing part of your day. Tomorrow we'll be back and we've got a lovely special daily draw for our Wednesday daily draw this week and it's going to be two cats, one very cute, one very manly and they're from the movie Aristocats. So I hope that you join us tomorrow. Bye.